one caution that people should keep in mind is that interval debulking surgery is a little bit different than neoadjuvant. Interval debulking surgery is really when we're looking at uh, the situation where there's a maximal surgical effort up front, but there's residual disease left, then you give chemo and then you decide whether you're going to go back and do more debulking in the midst of the chemo. And certainly that was explored both in Europe and in um, the United States. In the United States it was done with GOG-152. What's interesting about that was they had, again, disparate results with GOG-152 being essentially a negative trial showing no advantage to doing any additional uh, balking surgery if an initial effort was made to do the, the um, cytoreduction. What they found in the European trial, though, was that the um, difference favored the group that had interval debulking. So how do you have randomized data that has completely different results with one showing a statistical improvement in overall survival and the other one showing no difference? And it appears if you use the number of patients that had their ovaries actually removed as a surrogate for how aggressive the surgery was, you see that the surgery in the United States was much more aggressive than what was done in Europe with uh, almost a third of the patients having their ovaries remaining after the initial primary debulking versus in the United States it was less than 